I'm here with Dan from Atlantis Miniatures, uh, who come with the Becky seal of approval, because I actually own one of these. <laughs> so um, these, your, your scops, they caught my eye because you're, you're doing things that, well, they're different. I mean, I just, I, I have a, a female dwarf civilian. That yes. is so hard to find. Yes. So what inspires you to, to make sculpts like that? Um, well, we do get asked a lot, and it's something we're actually trying to do more of now is NPC characters, like the, the fillers, the real things that add that sort of nice vibe to your environment, that little bit extra. So it's not something we've done too much of, but we want to do more of them knowing they've got a great response. Yeah. yeah. So um, tell me about, like, how, how did you start sculpting? What, what inspired you? Um, I started off as a painter, moved into traditional sculpture, worked in film for a little while, uh, working and started my sculpting career digitally. And then I thought, I want to make stuff that I want to make. I want to be in control of the concept on the creative process. So I started making a few things. And I thought, I want to try and release this, see how it goes. And it went well in the end. So I've just been growing and growing upon that, building range after range now. Now, you've got quite a lot of very fine detail on the models, I notice. Yeah. So what's the process you're using to manufacture them? Um, so we try to get as much detail into the sculpt. And it's all about passing it down the pipeline. So what I would generally do is go you know, very high detail on the sculpt, send it, and what we use is a jewellery grade printing service. So you could get it printed for quite cheap, but when you pay for that higher level, it goes through and you're passing it down the pipeline. We then have our production in Birmingham and they, they do a top-notch job of just getting that print to look exactly like the cast. Okay. So, so these ultimately these are cast, yeah? Is that, ultimately is that right? Cast. The, ma the master's the expensive part and you, got, you pay for the quality. And then you pay for the quality again, and it's that which comes through in the final product. This feels like that. This feels like plastic. It's uh, resin. That, that's resin? Yeah, it's resin. <laughs> and it feels so light. <laughs> okay, so, uh, and you've got some wonderful large pieces. And if we can get the camera to show some of these pieces. So we've got some kind of, what is this, a storm giant? Can I pick him up? Is that okay? That's... Yeah, he looks, he looks proper. You've got a lot of expression in the face on that guy. He really did. One of our biggest goals is to get that character and in a lot of cases try to get dynamic poses. If we can get that through into the school, that's a victory for us. That's a big win. So you, you, you came up through film in terms, in, in terms of sculpting and stuff, but why miniatures for role-playing and wargaming? What, um, what I, I grow up very fantasy oriented, more for sort of the geeky sort of sketching side of things, like drawing these sort of characters when I was little, and especially mythology. I've always had a fascination with mythology. So separating myself from film and allowing myself to create these sort of things was what drove it. And I was like, well, how do I make a living out of this? How do I put food on the table? So it was like taking those things I was doing for fun and trying to turn it into a career, which is kind of how I get, ended up here. Okay, so. If anyone's interested in these miniatures, and this is, I mean, this is a dwarf crossbow unit, but you've got, you've got all sorts here, haven't you? You got. I noticed there was. Was there an orc civilian as well? I saw. Yep. So we have a lot of orcs. We have goblins. Um, a lot of orcs and goblins. We're sort of re-releasing soon. We, um, we've got a dwarf range, uh, mythology range. We've also got our ogres, which are now available on um, backer kit. Um, we've also got wood elves coming, so we're really covering a lot of the main sort of things. I noticed you've got these these dwarves riding elephants as well, which they, they are super cute. We get quite a bit of attention for a lot of our creatures and animals, because we, we try to get them into every project, whether it's from like wargs and great boars to pygmy mammoths, rams and hogs, that sort of thing. Okay, so if anybody wants to buy these, where should they go? Uh, www.alantisminiatures.com uh, Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We, uh, newsletter, we like to put out some offers and show what's going on and what we're up to, basically. <laughs> All right, so thank you very much for taking time thank to talk to us today, Dan. Cheers, Cheers. Thank, you. thank you. Hi, this is Dan from Atlantis Miniatures. Just wanted to say everyone should get involved in the Butterfly Project. It's a great cause. It sounds fantastic. We'll be getting involved, and I hope everyone else does too. Thank you. <laughs>